16. Let's begin now with that Manhattan psychiatrist who prosecutors say became a murderous mastermind. Pamela Buckbinder pleaded guilty for her role in the plot to kill the father of her child who somehow survived after he was bludgeoned multiple times. Prosecutors say Buckbinder manipulated her cousin to carry out the attack, too. And News for us, uh, Melissa Colorado is in the courtroom today. She joins us now live from Lower Manhattan with the story. Melissa. Well, Adam, what was supposed to be a pretty standard uh, court sentencing hearing was anything but. Uh, first, we heard from Pamela Buckbinder. She made a last-minute attempt to withdraw from her plea deal, basically saying that on the day that she accepted the terms, she had inhaled some secondhand smoke from inmates at Rikers who were smoking K2, and that she just wasn't mentally competent that day. She also claimed that she hadn't taken her prescribed medication that day. Well, the judge did not buy that, but then came a very pivotal moment of this hearing, and that is when the father of her child, the man who survived this bloody attack, delivered his victim impact statement. Anything you want to say, Dr. Weiss? Dr. Michael Weiss has waited more than a decade for this day in court. The mother of his child, Pamela Buckbinder, will be locked up in state prison for orchestrating a plot to have him killed, following a nasty legal battle over custody of their only son. Buckbinder today pleading guilty to first-degree attempted assault and burglary for her role in the bloody attack against her ex. This was the, was the perfect storm where somebody was confined for an extended period of time throughout a pandemic and finally gave up on the eve of trial. The Manhattan DA's office says the 52-year-old psychiatrist fed lies to her bipolar cousin, Jacob Nolan, who was 19 and living with Buckbinder back in 2012. Investigators say Buckbinder bought Nolan a 10-pound sledgehammer and handed him a knife that he then used to attack Dr. Weiss at his medical office. Weiss survived the bloody attack and years later, a jury convicted Nolan of attempted murder. He's currently serving the rest of his nine-year prison sentence. While the judge sentenced her to 11 years in prison, she won't be in prison for that long because she's already spent the last five years at Rikers. She'll do about four more years. Um, she's already served over half of her sentence. Dr. Weiss delivered his impact statement to the court, telling the judge he suffers from PTSD. Dr. Weiss says he fears that Buckbinder's hate for him won't go away once she gets out of prison. Of she loves her son. Yes, absolutely. There's no question about her love for her son. Now, once Buckbinder gets out, she will have to be on probation for five years. She must stay away from Dr. Weiss for a number of years. But get this, she can still make contact. She can still reach out to the son that the two share. Adam, we'll send it right back to you. Okay, Melissa Colorado for us. Thank you, Melissa.